What is poppin'? It is a slapped and I am but a lowly slapped and riding these DeFi waves, and this is This Week in Klimadao, where I give you all of the Klimadao news that is fit to go ape wild over. It's the second full week in May, and may I say, what a week it was. Um, I, I mean, the elephant in the room is is the just the, the crypto markets in general taking a dive, in no small part because of Terra Luna, and if you're unfamiliar with what's happening with Terra Luna, I have l done a quick explainer video, uh, and I will leave it above my finger, a chair, um, but at the end of the day, here's what you need to know, is all markets, TradFi, crypto, you name it, are going through a bit of a pullback, a bit of a recession, so, you know, at the end of the day, these bear markets are going to happen, and they're going to flush out projects that don't have staying power, and they're going to essentially create a solid foundation for the next wave of builders because those that can get through this are worthy of the next wave of builders and of hype. All right, so anyway, this is crypto, this is Klima. We have a mission, baby, let's get it. So I'm gonna start with the decentralized working group. Um, Klima wants to increasingly decentralize its organization, the way that it's run, its decision-making, etc., etc. And one way it hopes to do that is through a decentralized working group, which would be delegates from different members of the DAO, from the core, from the contributors, from the community, you guys in particular. And the idea is that you can vote on who you want to represent you as community members. So community members have applied for the position and you can review them and you can vote on them. I will leave a link to all of this. So you have their, their profile pictures right here, some cool profile picture, Sly Fox, according, you know, if nothing else consistent has the profile picture of a fox. But if you want to read about them, click on this link right here. It'll bring you to a spreadsheet. It'll give you so a bunch of information you can read through. It'll, it will include their, their Discord handle, why they participate, why they want to participate, their background in decentralization and DAOs, their thoughts on a bunch of different things. So take a look at that. Get your voice heard because you are the DAO as they I say. The next thing that we can make mention of is Klima Playground. So if you go to klima.finance, which is the website, or I will just link you to the Playgrounds page, you can click on Playgrounds right here and it will bring you to these Playgrounds. Now, what Playgrounds is, is two things essentially. It's a way to visualize data and analytics, and it's a way to also do simulations. So I have up on the screen right here, a simulate one of the simulations, which is the staking simulation. You can put in a bunch of parameters. You could put in how many days uh, you want to simulate for. You can put in the number of initial Klima. You can put in the AKR percentage. You can put in a bunch of things. And there's a guide on this. If you click on the guide tab, it'll give you a little bit of information. So I'm not gonna go through all of it, but then you can visualize projections based on the data that you put in. You you can also take a look at analytics. Now, the analytics are going to look very similar to the Dune dashboard because they're pulling from very similar data, the exact same data as far as I understand. Now, this is all op open source. If you know how to code with Python, you can actually make your own analytic dashboard. And I'm excited to see what people do with this because, I mean, the sky is the limit. Here's the challenge I'm going to put out to you guys. I want to see a dashboard where non-dilutive versus dilutive revenue is shown because I think that is a very important and interesting statistic that does not get enough um, attention in the Olympus um, fork space and in DeFi in general. Anyway, that is my, my challenge to you guys. Which of you is smart enough to make a non-dilutive versus dilutive um, revenue analytics page? And I will also mention that BCT, which is the um, the, the the carbon pool that we that two that Klima, uh, two can, Klima, that Klima has the most of in its treasury, um, went through a uh, upgrade, I would say. So um, BCT has gone through some um, some turmoil, some criticism that it is providing demand for credits that the off-chain markets have deemed unworthy of offsetting. And one way to prevent what are called zombie credits, credits that were no longer being issued from ending up in the Toucan protocol and eventually into Klima's treasury would be to create a new rule where credits must have been issued within 10 years of their climate positive impacts taking place. Meaning if some work was done 12 years ago and a company is trying to um, issue a credit on that work that was done 12 years ago, that credit will not be allowed to be bridged into the Toucan protocol, which should protect the integrity of the BCT pool. If you want a gross um, uh, oversimplification of what this actually means for BCT and for Klima, it would mean that BCT's quality should, in theory, increase over time um, as the lower level stuff gets burned off and the newer stuff coming in is of a higher quality. So that's good for BCT. Ultimately, that's good for Klima because Klima holds a lot of BCT. Capiche? Capiche. 
The last thing I will bring your attention to is the office hours. So um, office hours are always a really good uh, source of information. You should be listening to all of them. I had the privilege of listening to it last night. I spent the spent the hour going through it. And, uh, you know, there's also a recap you can check out, but they did mention the market conditions. I mean, you have to mention the market conditions. Um, but one of the things that uh, should give you some, some um, or a, a alleviate your concerns about these market conditions is Klima, uh, the core has a separate wallet of funds that can um, fund their endeavors for up to three years, it was said in the office hours. So it's separate from the Dow wallet. So the core is going to be sticking around for at least three years, which is, you know, I will probably be out of the bear market within three years. And if we're not, we've got a lot bigger problems. Um, so that should put your mind at ease. Also, um, some of the, the, the core and council of Klima have been speaking to um, lawmakers, politicians in Washington, D.C. And the idea is if regulation matures and does so in a responsible way, in a common sense way, this is actually good for the crypto space. This would be good for the carbon markets, on-chain carbon market space, because it would give confidence in Klima and the product of on-chain carbon credits, which means that TradFi companies would be more willing to hold them. So these conversations are happening. It seems these politicians are receptive. Of course, these things take time. As you guys know, politics, unlike Web3, can take a large amount of time, but this is being worked on, which is good. The team is getting in front of it. And I'm optimistic that these regulations will be in the benefit of all of crypto, let alone the on-chain carbon markets. And I obviously will keep you posted on that. The further enhancement of BCT was mentioned. Um, I have also talked about that. I will also leave a link above my finger to this week in refi. It's a recap I'm doing with Rez from Solid World, who is one of the most knowledgeable people I know about um, refi in general. So we've have, we have long form conversations once a week, every Friday. Let me go into a little bit more in depth about BCT. He actually helped write the proposal. So if you want a, a, a really insider look about that, take a look at that link. Um, what else can I mention? Oh, it was mentioned in office hours that $2 million worth of on-chain carbon credits have been sold. $2 million worth of sales in a relatively short amount of time. I believe it was projected that if those um, numbers continued, the projection would be about $5 million worth of carbon credits. Now, this isn't um, huge numbers in terms of, let's say, crypto, but these are big numbers in general. Many carbon trading houses, many you know carbon brokers would love to have $2 million worth of carbon credits sold, which shows the space is maturing, Klima is getting its product and is getting its name out there. And like I said, at the end of the day, these bear markets are going to be challenging. We're all feeling it, um, but you know, you just got to keep building. You got to keep going on. Hopefully the support, the community, the belief in the product is there. The core will be sticking with it. The community sticks with it. I think this project has staying power. Let me know what you think. I will catch you all on the next one. And above all else, remember to ape responsibly. Would you? Peace, dudes. And dudettes. <laughs>